Under the bright and expansive skies of California, a place where fertile fields roll on toward the distant horizon, lies a remarkable tapestry of American agriculture. Amid these sprawling acres is a crop that many of us enjoy on our dinner plates without realizing the immense effort behind its production. This vibrant green vegetable, grown on thousands of acres across the state, is not just another plant. It is a living symbol of unwavering dedication and ingenious farming practices. Every year, about a million tons of broccoli are harvested here, representing a fusion of age-old agricultural traditions and cutting-edge technology. At Infinite Farming, we invite you to explore broccoli's fascinating journey from the moment its seeds are chosen and planted to the day the finished product arrives in kitchens across the country, either fresh or frozen. California's unique climate and geography are instrumental in the success of broccoli cultivation. Gentle sea breezes, abundant sunshine and fertile soil create conditions perfectly suited for growing hearty greens. Generations of farmers have learned to adapt to the region's occasional water challenges, seeking efficient ways to irrigate and preserve this precious resource. They have also honed their craft to mitigate temperature fluctuations, ensuring that crops receive cool nights and warm days. Broccoli, a cool season vegetable, finds this environment particularly conducive to its growth. Even as weather patterns shift over time, local growers continue refining their methods to sustain and enhance broccoli production, highlighting their adaptability and respect for the land. Before planting any seeds, farmers must carefully prepare the soil. Broccoli thrives in conditions where the soil's pH is slightly acidic to neutral, typically ranging from about 6.0 to 7.5. If readings show that the land is off balance, farmers may incorporate amendments such as lime or sulfur to bring the soil within the ideal range. They also enrich the ground with compost or aged manure to provide organic matter that helps retain moisture and nutrients. Weed removal is another essential step as intrusive weeds can quickly compete with young seedlings for space, sunlight and water. By devoting time to thorough soil preparation, farmers set a strong foundation for broccoli's rapid and healthy development. Once the soil is ready, they often use modern machinery to plow and loosen the top layers, ensuring roots can spread out more easily once the seedlings are planted. Farmers also install advanced irrigation systems to control water distribution across the field. Some choose drip lines that deliver moisture directly to the root zone, conserving water and preventing shallow flooding. Others use overhead sprinklers capable of adjusting spray patterns and intensities based on real-time field conditions. This careful orchestration of soil preparation and water management paves the way for vigorous growth and high-yield harvests. The selection of broccoli seeds is a vital aspect of the farming process. Seeds may seem small and unremarkable, yet within each seed lies the potential to become a robust plant if given the proper care. Farmers often opt for varieties that demonstrate strong germination rates, resistance to common diseases, and adaptability to the region's climate. Because broccoli is a significant commercial crop, seed breeders continually refine strains that can withstand temperature swings or pest pressures. Once seeds are chosen, Farmers determine if they will begin the germination process in greenhouses or sow them directly in the field. In the greenhouse approach, seeds are planted in specialized trays filled with a sterile growing medium. These trays are kept under controlled conditions where temperature, humidity and light can be fine-tuned. Over the course of a few weeks, farmers closely monitor sprouts for healthy growth, looking out for signs of fungal infections or pests the greenhouse phase ensures that each seedling develops a robust root system and a sturdy stem. Once the young plants reach a height of around 4 to 6 inches, they are strong enough to endure the shift to open fields. In some cases, this extra care leads to higher survival rates and a quicker jump start on the growth cycle. Not all farms rely on greenhouse starts. Many choose to sow seeds directly into the ground, opting for a more traditional method that eliminates the need for greenhouse maintenance and transplanting. Direct sowing involves placing seeds about half an inch below the soil surface, spaced roughly one foot or more apart. 
This spacing is essential because once the broccoli plants mature, their large leaves require ample room. To ensure germination, farmers keep the topsoil evenly moist, especially during the first few weeks. Too little water may cause seeds to dry out and fail, while too much could lead to rot or fungal growth. Broccoli's preferred temperature range between 55 degrees Fahrenheit and 75 degrees Fahrenheit is especially important during this stage. By sowing at the right time, often in early spring or late summer, farmers align the seed's initial growth period with favorable environmental conditions. Whether farmers opt for greenhouse seedlings or direct sowing, the fundamental principle remains the same. Young plants need gentle, consistent care. The water, light and nutrient balance during this sensitive phase heavily influences how quickly and successfully the broccoli heads will form later on. At Infinite Farming, we highlight how each farmer's choice, while different in practice, is guided by years of experience and the desire to produce the highest quality broccoli possible. Broccoli is recognized for its ability to thrive in cooler settings, but it also benefits from warm days that enable photosynthesis. In California, especially in coastal and valley regions, Farmers are able to exploit these ideal daytime highs and cooler nighttime lows. This variation in temperature is key to broccoli's signature crispness, flavor, and color. Daylight hours are used to drive photosynthesis, allowing leaves to grow broad and strong, while the nighttime cooling helps the plants recover and maintain their firmness. As the leaves mature, they spread wide to capture more sunlight creating a self-shading effect around the plant's center. This natural canopy helps protect the emerging broccoli head. Nutrient absorption is crucial at this time because the plants are growing rapidly. Farmers monitor the fields to see if signs of nutrient deficiencies appear. Yellowing leaves can hint at a lack of nitrogen, while stunted growth might indicate insufficient phosphorus or potassium. When such issues surface, farmers address them by adjusting fertilizer applications. By applying fertilizers judiciously, they can help the plants maintain a bright green hue and develop denser, firmer heads. Beyond ensuring temperature and nutrient needs, farmers must manage a range of other factors during broccoli's growth cycle. Weeds can appear frequently, ready to compete with young broccoli plants for every ounce of water and sunlight. Given that broccoli's root structure is delicate, some farmers rely on mechanical cultivation which carefully removes weeds without disturbing the broccoli's base. Others may use organic mulches or biodegradable films to cover rows, suppressing weed emergence. Pest control is similarly critical. Common invaders, such as aphids or caterpillars, can damage leaves or burrow into the forming heads. Integrated pest management, IPM, strategies aim to reduce chemical use by deploying beneficial insects rotating crops, or employing biological control agents to keep pests at bay. This holistic approach helps safeguard the crop's overall health, resulting in clean, market-worthy produce. Broccoli's vegetative phase culminates when the center stalk begins to show a small, tightly bound head of florets. Over days and weeks, this head swells in size, and farmers track it carefully. A well-formed head should be firm, deep green in color, and composed of buds that remain tightly closed. If the buds start to loosen or show signs of yellowing flowers, the harvest window may have passed. Missing that critical moment not only diminishes quality, but also reduces the price farmers can command for the crop. The skill involved in timing the harvest cannot be overstated, as it impacts the final product's flavor, texture, and shelf life. Once the heads measure approximately 6 to 8 inches across and the buds are still densely packed, farmers and field workers know it is nearly time to harvest. They may conduct a test cut of a few heads to assess whether the florets have the right crispness and flavor. Because the process of harvesting relies heavily on visual and tactile cues, experienced field workers are indispensable. They can determine at a glance which heads need cutting immediately and which can remain in the field a bit longer. The window is narrow. Broccoli heads can shift from unripe to over mature in just a few days, especially if temperatures rise unexpectedly or if rainfall becomes erratic. 
Despite advancements in agricultural machinery, broccoli's distinct shape and density often make manual harvesting the preferred approach. Crews move methodically down each row, using sharp knives to slice the head at its base, ensuring a clean cut and minimal damage to the remaining plant. Some modern farms use conveyor systems that move alongside harvesters. Workers place the freshly cut heads onto these belts and the heads travel directly to bins or trucks waiting at the field's edge. This immediate transfer system reduces the risk of bruising or wilting under the midday sun. As soon as the broccoli is harvested, the clock starts ticking to preserve its freshness. Rapid cooling is imperative because once the vegetable is cut from its root system, it begins to respire and break down. In many operations, the harvested broccoli heads are rushed to cooling facilities. Some farmers immerse them in ice water baths that drop their temperature to near freezing. Others rely on chilled air systems that pass cold air across the surface of the heads. Both methods are designed to bring the broccoli's core temperature down quickly, which helps lock in flavor, nutrition, and texture. Whether immersed in ice water or cooled by air, the main objective is to reduce the likelihood of wilting and oxidation. If the heads remain warm for too long, the florets can lose their vibrant color and crisp bite. This attention to temperature management is also crucial in preventing the spread of bacteria or mold. By halting these natural processes, farmers create a window of time in which broccoli can be transported from the cooling facility to warehouses, markets, and ultimately the consumer's home. Once properly cooled, the heads move to sorting lines where workers or automated equipment inspect them for quality. The tightness of the buds, the uniformity of size, and the presence of discoloration or pests all factor into how the heads are graded. Premium grade broccoli exhibits a deep green hue, firm florets, and a consistently sized head that commands higher prices in domestic and export markets. Standard grade broccoli, which is still appealing though slightly less uniform, is distributed broadly across grocery stores and restaurants. Heads that don't meet these visual standards may still be entirely suitable for consumption. Often categorized as processing grade, they are sent to freezing plants or other facilities that convert them into bagged florets, chopped broccoli, or prepared foods. By sorting broccoli into these different streams, Farmers and distributors make sure every part of the harvest finds a home and that minimal waste results from the production process. The frozen broccoli segment has risen in popularity because of its convenience and long shelf life. After grading, heads bound for freezing are trimmed and often broken down into florets. These florets then enter a blanching stage in which they are dipped briefly into water heated to around 185 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. The objective is to preserve color, flavor, and texture by inactivating enzymes that would otherwise degrade the vegetable's quality. Immediately following blanching, the florets are plunged into ice water to halt cooking. This rapid shift in temperature locks in freshness and prevents the florets from becoming soggy. Once cooled, the florets progress to individual quick freezing technology. In IQF systems, extremely cold air passes over the florets freezing each piece separately so they do not form clumps. This approach makes it easier for consumers to use just the right amount of frozen broccoli in their meals. Finally, workers package the product into sealed bags or containers, and the broccoli is stored in deep freeze conditions until it is shipped out. Fresh broccoli goes through a slightly different process, in which whole heads are packaged in breathable bags or boxes designed to regulate humidity. From there, refrigerated trucks carry them to markets and restaurants. Ideally, this distribution takes place within one or two days of harvest, ensuring the broccoli arrives with maximum crispness and flavor. Broccoli's path from tiny seeds to a fully harvested crop is a story of perseverance, innovation, and a profound respect for the land. At Infinite Farming, we honor the countless farm workers, agronomists, truck drivers, and store employees who each contribute to the success of this thriving industry. Growing about a million tons of broccoli each year across America is a testament to the expertise and dedication of those who have honed their craft over decades. It also serves as a nod to the future, where new technologies, sustainable practices, and evolving consumer preferences 
will undoubtedly shape the next chapter of agriculture. Each time you purchase a head of broccoli or a bag of frozen florets, you connect with this vast network of efforts woven into every stalk, leaf and floret. From the moment the seeds are sown to the final sprint through cooling facilities, every aspect of broccoli cultivation reflects a deep commitment to providing nourishing produce. Whether you steam it, roast it, stir-fry it or enjoy it raw, broccoli delivers both flavour and nutrients, earning its place in a wide variety of culinary traditions. As you appreciate each crunchy bite, take a moment to remember the remarkable journey that made it possible. An odyssey grounded in the sunlit fields of California and powered by the passion and ingenuity of American farming. Here at Infinite Farming, we celebrate that spirit and look forward to bringing you more stories of how the food on your plate makes its way from seed to harvest.